The Albanese government is facing calls for an inquiry into why 45 helicopters are being chopped up and buried when they could be sent to Ukraine. President Zelensky's top diplomat here sent the request months ago with a new wave of protests set to challenge our government's inaction. The Taipan helicopter, once at the sharp end of Australia's military, now a billion dollar bin item. NIST disposal strategy offered the best value for money for Australian taxpayers. After a Taipan crashed off Queensland last July, killing four ADF personnel, the entire fleet of 45 was grounded. Defence deciding they'd be disassembled, picked for spare parts and then buried. This is the dumbest government decision I've seen since we leased the port of Darwin to a Chinese company for 99 years. Just before Christmas, Ukraine's ambassador officially asked Australia to donate the choppers to the fight against Vladimir Putin. We need those Taipans to help Ukraine win this war. The Ukrainians are fighting for their lives. They need every bit of equipment to get the upper hand against the Russians. The Defence Industry Minister today citing the Taipan's safety record for why they won't be sent. It would be irresponsible for us to move away from the disposal strategy that we've uh, uh, locked on. The risk threshold in war is different to that of peace. Australia, free the Taipans for Ukraine. The Ukrainian community is promising to campaign for the Taipans in major cities across Australia. They are required now. They are required with speed. Even if the government changes its mind, it remains unclear how many helicopters have already been chopped up and buried. The opposition and defence analysts want an inquiry. How on earth can this be best value for money when on the second-hand market those helicopters are worth about a billion dollars? Andrew Proman, Nine News.